Hi, this is Kim from Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make the candy corn bracelet. The candy corn bracelet requires 11 yellow rubber bands, 7 orange, 6 white for each piece of candy corn. Now, for me to wear a bracelet, I like to make 6 candy corns. To begin, take a single white rubber band and place it going forward. Then take two yellow at a time from the side to the center and the center again to the opposite side. Then two yellow at a time going straight forward on each of the three rows. Then take two orange at a time from the outside to the center, the center going forward, and the opposite side going straight forward. Then two white at a time from the center to the side. and from the opposite side going forward. Then you want to place a single cap band wrapped around this peg three times if you can. Depends on the brand of your rubber bands. But for the Rainbow Loom brand, opaque three works well. And we're going to place another white rubber band three times around these two pegs to get that sharp point at the end of the candy corn. So twist it and fold it over and twist and fold over again. And if you drop it like I did, then use your hook to stretch it out so that it's wrapped around these two pegs three times. And then we're going to wrap a single orange rubber band around these three pegs just twice. And now to add the next candy corn, you just repeat the pattern another time. Single white that connects the two together, then two yellow to the side, two yellow to the side, two yellow going forward, Two yellow going forward again, and another, and then your two orange from the outside to the center, two orange from the center going forward, and two more orange on this side, and then switching to white from the center to the side, and from this side going forward. And now our cap band, single white, wrapped around three times. And a single white wrapped around these pegs three times. Trying not to lose circulation in your fingertips. There we go. And an orange one wrapped around these three pegs just twice because we want it to be a little wider at the top than it is at the bottom. And you do it again here. I'm going to fast forward as I place these rubber bands. Write in the comments below if you like when I fast forward steps that are repetitive or if you don't. I've been doing it either way and I'm trying to get a sense of which works better. Once you've got all those rubber bands set, we're going to take our hook 
and begin at the bottom of the loom here, pulling back with that cap band to catch the two rubber bands that go forward here. And then going back in to get the two that go up and to the side. Coming in here to get the two orange and the two yellow. And then in here to get the two orange that are at the top of the stack. Bring those forward. And then you can get the two yellow that go forward as well. And then the last row, which are these two orange that are in here, that we're gonna bring to the right. And then we can catch these two yellow. And then two more yellow from the side to the center and in here the final two yellow and that is the first candy corn of your bracelet completed coming in here to get the white connector band then in the cap band again to get the two top white bands that go forward. Oh, I only got one, but that's okay. If you only get one, put that in place and then go back for the second one. Better to do that than to make a mess of the whole thing. Two more. That position. And you can come in here, get those orange ones that need to go forward and the yellow ones and coming back here to get the two orange on top and the two yellow coming back Two orange to the side, two yellow, forward, and then from here across. And this one too. And I'm going to speed up again because it's just repeating the same pattern for the final candy corn that's on the loom right now. Here we go, Wee! So all of our rubber bands have been connected and we're ready to take this half of the bracelet off of the loom so that we can use the loom again to make the other half of the bracelet. So what you wanna do, put your hook through to the thick part and put your thumb over that and pop your candy corn off the loom. When you get to this spot, you may wanna use your hook to help it because you only have a single rubber band there and that's a lot of pressure for one rubber band. And if it snaps, you'll be really sad. So better to give it some help. So half the bracelet is now complete and we're going to lay the rubber bands on exactly the same way we did when we first started. And at the very end, in addition to the cap band, we'll be placing this half of the bracelet on that last peg. So I know that some of you 
are watching this through to see how the project is completed and some of you are actually doing the project along with me. I'm going to put a link here that takes you straight back to where I've done this part of the design slowly so that those of you who are following along can do it in regular speed with me while those of you who are just watching to see how it all comes together can move along faster to the next part. Okay, so now that all of those bands are set up on the loom, we can take the first half of the bracelet that we've constructed and stretch them over that peg right there. And continue looping your bracelet just like you did before. Now we're at that last loop. Put both sides on the hook just like we did before and we can take our candy corn bracelet off of the loom using our hook on these corners just because otherwise that one band would be stretched too far. Okay then we're going to grab a C-clip and put it on the two loops here. Then we can take it off the hook and connect to the other side. And your candy corn bracelet is ready to wear. If you like the bracelet and you love Halloween, please give this video a thumbs up below. It really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to looming with you again soon. Bye bye